Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups here. Someone here is either really disappointed or having a lot of regret for the way they treated you guys. Okay, someone here is either very disappointed or, um, you know, that Five of Cups energy, energy could be a very fast energy, like moving out of a house quickly or something changing quickly. And just you have that sense of like you finally sit down and like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. You know, um, someone's in their kitchen here just sipping a cup of coffee like, damn, this is crazy. I can't believe I can't believe this is the way this ended after all the promises that were made. Um, ooh, enchantment popped out. I don't know. I don't like the way it popped out. Um I feel like someone here could also be really regretting their decision. Um, someone here could also be really regretting their decision. We have blessings. So guys, you may have blessings coming in once you free yourself from this situation. You might have new love coming in here once for many of you, once you free yourself from this connection. Um, let's see what we have going on here or finding out the truth about this was a blessing. Woman holding a coin. Um, for some of you, for some of you, ooh, envy and deceit under the deck. I was just gonna say for some of you, you may be well off financially and you may come to find out that this person um, was using you for money. Okay, they were envious and using you for money. This person maybe didn't have. Um, for others of you, you know, you may be going through a situation where maybe you have envy because, you know, if you <coughs> were promised the world um, and you come to find out that, you know, they already have a wife or they already have a husband, they're already committed, you know, it can hurt. It can create envy here, okay? Third chakra with this negative attachment here, okay? It's going to sit in your stomach for a minute. You're going to realize that you were lied to, that you were cheated on, that, you know, it, it was. it's nasty here. It's going to take a minute for you to heal, okay? Um, this person may have just been envious of your abundance, guys. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of you are well off. Maybe some of you are business owners. Um, maybe some of you are very blessed and this person was envious and they decided to take from you. We've got let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I feel like for many of you, you're like, listen, I'm freeing myself from this. It's time for me to take back control of my life. I'm done. Um, I don't want to say controlling the situation, but I'm done trying to figure out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm done listening to this. I'm, I'm just done. You know, you're just, you know, focusing on yourself and your blessings. You're waking up every day grateful for what you have in life. And that's it. Time to breathe out. Yeah, you're, you're, I mean, I feel like this just blew you away, guys. I feel like this just blew you away. Um, because, I mean, it was just so many promises. So many promises here that were given to you. And then you come to find out that it was all just lies. I mean, it's a little over what, like, you have to take a minute and just breathe and just be like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. You know, recognition and reward. Okay, so for me, this is like a three of pentacles. So I feel here that, guys, you're going to start working on yourself. You're going to start spoiling yourself. You're going to start realizing your worth. Okay, maybe this person didn't realize your worth, but you're going to realize your own worth, that you don't need this in your life. You know, you're going to take a minute. You're going to heal. Fragmented energy here. Oh, guys, one second. When FedEx or whoever comes to, I have to open the door to my building with my phone, I'm sorry. So we have fragmented energy here. I feel like at first you're going to feel lost here, guys. At first you're going to feel like all confused, you know, because you had this plan for your life. You were building this solid foundation and it all came crashing down. But I feel like you're going to realize here that you didn't do anything wrong. You gave this your all. You, you know, you were committed here. You gave this your all. You did everything that you could. You know what I'm saying? And you're just going to let go with your head held high and just be like, you know, I, I didn't do anything wrong here. So why should I have to suffer? If you're like, oh, geez, my gosh, my dog. One second, guys. I am so sorry about that, guys. I had a, someone knocked on the door delivering the package. My dog just scared the life out of me. Anyways, moving on. 
moving on. You know, there's so many distractions in this and we haven't even started the reading. I feel like this person, like if you were onto them, like if you started asking questions, this person was very good at distracting you. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe deflecting, making you, you do you understand what I'm saying? Like as soon as you started catching on that something wasn't right, they were good at deflecting. We have impasse. What did I just say? This is a blockage. This is a blockage, okay? This is, you know, you're you're about to like find out the truth maybe and someone here is blocking you, deflecting you from it. What else do we have here? Balance. Yeah, but you're balancing out the situation here. You're you're finding, you know, it's bittersweet. It really is. It's bittersweet to discover that this is leaving your life, that this is just going up in smoke. You know what I'm saying? It really is because you were so happy. You were so happy and you thought it was going to move on. And, you know, this person here maybe was in their ego and they feel guilty for it. They do. They feel guilty for it. But, hey, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, all you could do is heal. I feel like, guys, you know, for whoever I'm reading for, you kind of get to this place where first you kind of feel a little messed up here, but then you're in this energy of, hey, yeah, I mean, I did everything. What more could I have done, you know? Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This is a, a card of possible stalking or a card of realizing the truth here. Two of Wands. Someone that you are not speaking to, someone that you are distant from is definitely watching you on social media. We've got the Sun here. Leo energy. Someone here is watching you move on and be happy. The Ace of Cups. Maybe you found a new lover here. This could be that you found messages online of another person. Oh, wow. I just saw that. This could be the truth coming into light that there was two people and you saw that someone here met someone new. Oh, gosh, that's a seven of cups. Yeah, someone here is realizing that you were talking to other options. We've got the uh, page of cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Someone here was talking to other a lot of other people. Three of cups. Good Lord. Oh, my Lanta, guys. The emperor. Aries Taurus energy. This person held back a lot from you guys, okay? So they were very controlling. This person knows how to run an empire. This is someone who knows what they're doing, okay? This is someone who comes off as committed, stable, in control, okay? This is a husband, a father, a mother, a wife. Gender doesn't matter. But this person this person was talking to multiple other people. So this person was keeping the truth from you, keeping the truth at a distance, telling you that they loved you, telling you that you were the one to keep you happy, as they were talking to a shit ton of people behind your back, all while pretending to be an emperor. Nice. And you've had enough. You've had enough. You're just done now. You're done now. We've got Virgo energy here, the hermit. Yeah, you're done. You're you're giving up on this. You have withdrawn. For you, this is over. The world card. You. This is a cycle that is just done, completed. We've got the lovers card here. Gemini energy. Um, this could have possibly been a karmic soulmate, um, or this could be you looking at other you know people here. But I feel like there was a deep soul tie here. With the full card, this could be you're moving on. Okay. Devil card. Capricorn energy. Um, they don't want this. They do not like this. They do. Someone here is watch, watching you go and they don't like it. They don't like the thought that you're going to be with somebody else. They don't like the thought that they're out in the cold, that you're not talking to them and that now you might go sleep with somebody else or be with, they can't get it out of their head. They cannot get it out of their head. <coughs> Guys, for whoever I'm reading for, this person is, they, they're they watching. I, I felt that as soon as I started the cards, they are watching you. They are watching you. They are watching this come apart. Um, they don't like it. This person does not like it. Spirit, tell me about this page of swords. Tell me about this page of swords. They're watching you. I'm telling you, Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress, that's a single energy. Virgo energy. Someone here is watching you be single, be happy. Tell me about that Two of Wands. And it is someone that you're not speaking to. And it is this Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. Guys, I'm telling you, this is someone who made you a lot of promises, telling you that you were the one while they were speaking to all these other people. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, they did not. They did, never planned on fulfilling these promises. Okay. Even though they promised, 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 it's like you always felt un empty, like it wasn't coming to fruition. And that's because they were filling all these other cups. You see what I'm saying? You were always like 
lonely, bored, you know, you weren't really satisfied here in this connection. And that's because they were they were filling all these other cups. How could they fill your cup if they're filling all these other cups? Seven of cups and the ten of swords. Yeah, you found out about it. And it hurt, man. Page of cups. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, you found out that they were actually, this isn't just, uh, let me let me make this clear. They weren't just like flirting online. This person was going to meet these people with that chariot card. They were going out with them. Hermit energy, Virgo card. The emperor, the knight of wands. Yeah, this person here was actually holding back from you. Oh, oh excuse me. See, it's a secret's coming out. Empress in reverse. This person was actually holding back from you presenting themselves as an emperor when in fact they are just a knight of wands. That takes skill. Got to be honest. <laughs> you got to give credit where credit is due. Um, someone here acting like an emperor when in fact they are nothing more than a, a knight of wands. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, that knight of wands is the emperor in his lowest vibration. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. But this person has the potential. I mean, if he can act like an emperor, then he can be an emperor. He just chooses not to. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, the Tower. When you find out this shocking realization, when you find out this shocking truth, I got that Tower energy from that Five of Cups there. Yeah, it's done. You're withdrawing Eight of Cups. There you are, walking away. You are walking away. There you are. The World card, the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Lover's card, the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Fool, the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this Devil, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini Energy. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Guys, this is not good. Guys, this is not good. This person thinks that you're, th this person realizes that you have gotten away. This person realizes that you have gotten away and they don't think that they can get you back. <sighs> Let me tell you something. You have shut the door on this person and they have fear now that you're going to meet someone new and have this Ten of Cups with somebody new. So let me tell you something. They want to win. You're not leaving. Okay? They want to win. You're not leaving. The Devil, the Magician with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands. Guys, that's victory with Black Magic. Okay, that's victory. That Eight of Wands is a binding spell. This person is binding you to them. This person is binding you to them because they want victory. This person does not want to be separated from you. And look, we've got the Two of Wands here and we have the Two of Wands here. This Emperor does not want to be separated. Okay, this, this Emperor does not want to be left out in the cold. So for whoever I'm reading for, um, and I, I do not, I'm not like a, a jump to black magic type of person, but for whoever I'm reading for, this is real. Like, this is real. You know what I'm saying? And that's the blockage here. This person is going to stop you from finding somebody. This person's going to stop you from finding your count, your perfect counterpart, because this is the lovers and the 10 of cups. I feel like maybe this person was told. I feel like maybe this person was told by somebody who is wise. I feel like that's where this hermit comes in. This per person may have told, been told by someone who is wise that you're leaving, that you're moving on, that you're gonna go towards new love and that you're gonna find a perfect soulmate counterpart and live happily ever after. And this person is not having it. They're blocking you here. You're succeeding, you're moving toward a, con a, a successful connection that works, that Three of Pentacles is building a solid foundation with somebody and this person is gonna screw you all up. They're going to screw you all up because this is what happens. This is a confused energy. When you have a binding spell on you, it's a confused energy. They're blocking you. Look at, see how he's blocking you from moving forward? Oh, my Lanta. All right, let's see here. The challenge, the six of pentacles, and the three of swords. The challenge here is, is that 
you want to move towards somebody that you know evens it out but somebody here is not having it someone here is having this painful realization that you might be leaving them to go to somebody else their third party this person is not five of, of cups here they can't handle that this person is in regret they are missing you they're regretting being the knight of wands okay they're coming in they're they're charging in okay um But you're holding back with that strength card guys i i feel like this person sees you holding back they see that you're not answering them you're leaving them on red they don't like it they don't like it they see a lot of people competing here for your for your love five of wands queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy yeah i this person doesn't like it they do not like what's happening here this person does not they're afraid that you're going to go towards a third party nine of swords and the two of cups look at this they're dying they're literally, they can't sleep. They're having nightmares. They're afraid that you are going to get hooked up with someone else. Tell me about this two of cups. Tell me about this two of cups. Yeah, five of pentacles. They're afraid that you are going to leave them out in the cold and move on to new love. Nine, yeah. Nine of swords and the world. This person has a lot of fear that this is really over. They're fearing, yeah, they're fearing that you have, that you have cut them out. Oh, guys, this is ugly. This is an ugly energy. This person is going to turn to shit that they don't even know anything about. Like, this person, they're so desperate. They're so desperate that this person is, they want victory in every way they can. This person is 100% turning to black magic. Even if you're like, they know nothing about black magic. No, they do because they, they are so um, distraught. They're so distraught that they're really going to lose you to someone else. This person will turn to anything this person will turn to anything and they're placing a binding spell on you all right guys let's take it into the extended let's see um what this person's true feelings and intentions are let's see if this whole shit storm here will change if you reconcile um and let's see what's going to happen to you if you move on will you will you find this i mean because this is this is gorgeous i mean will they really stop this from happening because this is your perfect counterpart this is your perfect counterpart. And they're blocking it. They're blocking it. They're blocking it. They know that if this cycle closes out, that you're going to find this person. So let's see here if this person is going to win, what, what's going on with them, um, or if you're going to find this new love. We'll see what's going to happen here if some of you, you know, just decide to reconcile. Because you may think that it's your own choice, but, you know, with the, with the binding spell, that's what it's going to make you believe. It's going to make you believe that you love this person and you want, you know, to give them another chance. Um, all right, so let's take into the insta extended. The link is in the description box below, and it is in the comment section below, okay? I love you guys. Bye.